You know, I remember the first time and he won the Olympia. And then after the thing, and I said, you know, Ronnie, just from my personal use as far as like what happened, how many times do you think you cheated on your diet? And he looked at me like I was nuts. And he's like, it, it never even crossed my mind. And I knew at that point, like, it's like this guy is a different human being. I was trying to distance myself from everybody else. So I kept getting bigger and bigger so nobody would catch up with me. Food is without a doubt number one. Being consistent, and that doesn't mean off season or contest. That's across the board. If you are in the off season and you're not consistent with food, if you're not continuously pushing food, it's off season. Like I don't I don't have to eat six meals a day. I don't have to quite do if I don't feel like eating, I'll just skip a meal and I'll go grab some fast food and, and these things. It's probably the biggest downfall. It's probably how I end up weaning out more athletes than, than not because they'll be like, I can eat all day. I'll, I'll never have a problem. And five days later, like, oh, there's no way I can eat all this food. It's just tough. Most people don't realize it. Eventually, you end up with a guy like Ronnie Coleman who is just a machine every single day. I love what I do. So that's why I still come to work every day. I think it's one of the hardest jobs out there. The hardest sports out there. One of them. You know, there's a bunch of them. That's hard. But the reason why I do all that, put my body through all that, is because I love it. When you got love for something, you know what they say? Ain't really too much of nothing you really wouldn't do to do it. Good old extreme wave protein shake. Quick grits here. This is basically all carb meal. This is my jump start meal of the day. Seven o'clock in the morning. This big jug that uh, everybody's gonna be asking about. Four days. You see me big up there like that but you know it took a long time for me to get there now, that didn't happen overnight I put on about between five and ten pounds of muscle a year and that came from all that you know that heavy lifting a lot of eating a lot of eating I had about six meals a day it's kind of hard to eat like that so I would have to wake up in the middle of the night to eat and go back to sleep after last year's Olympia had my one cheat meal and, and pretty much jumped right back on the diet. What I did was uh, diet for the whole year. Uh, grits for breakfast, second meal chicken, third meal chicken, fourth meal steak, fifth meal oh, turkey, and uh, sixth meal was the protein shake. I did that routine every day for about, you know, about 15 years. You know, I was doing that while I was winning Miss Olympia and, and all that kind of stuff. Good old chicken. Barbecue sauce. Half a piece. I would take breaks and I would eat. You know, the food would always be cooked. I would just warm it up and I would eat. I, I normally ate twice at work, you know, because I just kept the food in my car. All work and dedication will pay off if you dedicate yourself to doing something. Trying to stay clean. Yeah, this how I survive eating the control car. <laughs> Being two times Mr. Olympia, you know how to survive. Do what you have to do. This is the real number three. I see that now the muscle is going to come. So I just let my uh, training build my muscle and let my food, food pretty much all season. Instead of eating all this junk and stuff, eat like I'm getting ready for a contest. Because I'm still trying to build muscle in all season. Of course it's harder, but, uh, but I want to be better. Let's do it. Another day. 
as Miss Olympia, I got to do what it takes to get better. That, that was my motivation right there. No room for weakness. When I'm in the off season, what I try to do is put on as much weight as possible and try to come down from that. But I don't want to put on a lot of bad weight. I'm trying to put on as much good weight as possible. Keep my protein real high. I try to get about 600 grams for me. I still go with the same formula. For every pound of body weight, I just do two grams of protein. It's plain and simple. But here's the kicker for I do in order to gain weight. Instead of me taking in like 250 grams of carbs a day, I can now go up to about 600, all the way up to about 1,000 grams a day. I still eat every three to four hours, and I still try to eat six times a day. I don't consider myself no different from anybody else in this world. I'm just a little bit bigger. You've gone from 225 up to, to nearly 300 pound on stage. Bodybuilders over the last few years have got bigger and bigger and bigger. You want to get another? How do they go about getting big? Well, you gotta eat big to get big. The most important thing about nutrition is protein. Simply because protein is what builds muscle. Point simple. What I call my low carb week, I probably have like six days where I low carb, and I have one day where I carb up real high. And I'll do that all the way up to the Olympia. Basically, just monitor it, go by how I look. Right now, I'm about 285 pounds. The label says take three. Three is not enough for a big guy like me. <laughs> Hey, and now we can ready to go to the gym. Lift some weights.
thank y'all for coming out. Please come next year, make this thing even bigger. I love y'all. Uh, let's go eat. <laughs>